Welcome to Jasper Active Lesson 4 PowerPoint Exercise 2 Using Tables. This is going to be great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And here we go. Let me resize that window so you can see everything a little easier. Knock that thing out of the way. Here we go. It says change the layout of the slide to title and content. So I'm going to go over here and change the slide to title and content. And in the content placeholder for text, click insert table. So right here next to the chart one we used last time is insert table. Go ahead and click it and you're going to change the number of columns to four and the number of rows to five. And click OK. And that's what it looks like. So PowerPoint creates and actually gives some formatting to a simple four by five table. So let's see uh, we can do that another way. So click the Table Tools Layout tab. So up here, Table Tools Layout tab. In the Layout tab, uh, it says in the rows and columns group, do delete the drop down menu. You're going to say delete table. Thank goodness we didn't work very hard on it. Now we're going to learn another way to do it. So, insert tab, table, drop down menu. Look at this. We can do four rows and six columns. Six by four, right there. So, six columns, four rows. Look, we just did it again. Nice. Some pre-formatting already done. Now well, let's try another way. So step number two says create a new title and content slide. All right. So home tab, new title and content. Where's my title and content? Let's try that again. Title and content. There it is. Now it says, uh, notice that we can go to insert tab table and instead of doing that or that or draw a table which we'll learn about later maybe we're going to do this one called excel spreadsheet so click excel spreadsheet notice what just happened there i'm glad this is doing a screen recording because powerpoint just went crazy and now we have this excel spreadsheet box right in front and PowerPoint seems to have changed to Excel, but notice I still have a slide navigation pane. So we're actually running an app within an app that's being run by another app called Jasper Active. You can see why it gets confusing. Here we go. So they want you to drag, uh, let's see, go ahead and create a new table, insert, click table, and click Excel spreadsheet. Drag the bottom right cor corner of the spreadsheet until you can see E5. Wow, that came in zoomed. That's what I was afraid they were going to have me do. So I'm going to move it over here so I can click on this bottom right corner. They want me to be able to see E5. So A, B, C, D, E is going to be right in there. Although I've got this moved up out of the way, so it's hard to tell, but I think that should count. E5 is right there. So I clicked in it just so PowerPoint knows I was there. All right, then it says, click outside the table. I'm gonna click back on PowerPoint window and notice it shows like that. So if you click outside the table and you click inside the table, that's where we have it. So with the table selected, hit the delete key. Thank goodness we didn't work too hard on it. Step number three says using Windows Explorer. Oh, we've been here before. You're going to navigate to Documents, Jasper Active, and then Resource Files. So however you want to do it, you can come up here to Documents and then find Jasper Active and then Resource Files. What you need to do is locate Adventure Analysis Data. So let's double click to open that. With all of the data selected, I'm just gonna click the copy button up here. Notice I get the little marching ants. 
or if you don't see the green ants marching through, you see the little white dots, you can call that the little crawling maggots. That's the only thing white I can think of that uh, would be small and ant size. So I've copied that. Now I'm going to minimize those windows and get back to PowerPoint. Now click in the content placeholder of your new slide and hit Control V to paste, or just come up here on the Home tab and select Paste. Just click the button and it pastes in like that. Now that's pretty small and hard to read. So if you resize it, notice you can make it big, but the text stays small and hard to read. So I'm going to undo, undo. There's got to be a better way. So let's delete it. With that selected, delete key. Now we're going to try it again. You're going to right click and notice up here in the paste menu, hover over until you see the third option called embed and click that. Another way to do it would be to come up here and you could say embed right there, but I've already done it. So I'll do it once and call it good. Now it says double click anywhere inside the table and notice as soon as we did that, we went back to our Excel editing window. Now click out of it and you go back to PowerPoint. Isn't that amazing? We go from Excel to PowerPoint, back to Excel. Now I'm going to open up my Excel sheet, close it, and just make sure you're out and back into PowerPoint. And I think that's it. Let's submit it and get it. Yes, 100%. You guys can do the happy dance. I'm going to stay seated.